Rowing is one of the oldest Olympic sports. It's usually popular in Great Britain, America, Australia and New Zealand. In Ireland though, rowing is a minority sport, although it has had relatively good success winning medals at World Championships at senior and under 23 level. Although this being said, Ireland still has never won an Olympic medal in the sport of rowing. Although it has come close on two occasions, in 1976, Sean Dre finished fourth place at the Olympics and then in 1996, the lightweight men's four also finished fourth. Only two women have ever competed at the Olympic Games for rowing for Ireland. Rowing can be an individual sport in the single skull or a team sport with two, four or eight rowers in a boat. It can be split into two categories, open weight and lightweight. At the Olympic Games for lightweight women, the only event to compete at is in the lightweight women's double skull. So if you are a lightweight rower and you want to compete at the Olympic Games, you must find yourself a partner. This can be difficult in countries where the sport is in the minority and there may be a small pool of athletes to choose from. Ireland has never qualified a lightweight women's boat for the Olympic Games. And this is my goal. So what's so great about rowing? I think it's a fantastic sport because it requires so much of its athletes. It's a power and endurance sport that's also highly technical. And because of this, it requires miles and miles, hours and hours of training on the water and in the gym. The Olympic champion at the London Olympics in the men's open weight single skull, Mahi Drysdale of New Zealand, said that he has trained at least twice a day, six days a week, for the last 12 years to win his Olympic gold medal. Generally, international rowers would train all year round, taking about two to three weeks off a year. This means training in all conditions, rain, hail or snow. And repeatedly taking that same stroke over and over again can lead to some undesirable results. What I truly love about rowing is how skillful it is. Such minor movements of your body and the blades can lead to such differences in speed. If you can get an extra centimeter further per stroke, it can be the difference of over two meters by the end of the race. It's these extra centimeters per stroke that are, are gonna be the difference you're gonna need. You're always striving for the most effic effective, efficient stroke, and then you need the physiology to repeat it over 220 times down the course of the race. It's the technical aspect of the sport that sometimes allows the small athletes to beat the big giants. I started rowing at the age of 15. I completed a summer camp and went on to join Commercial Rowing Club based on the River, River Liffey. It was a lot of fun as a junior traveling to different competitions around Ireland and abroad. In 2008, I started my engineering degree here in UCD and joined the UCD college rowing team. On my second year in college, I decided to try out for the national team. It started quite positively. We finished in an A final at a World Cup and we were fourth at the Europeans. So at this stage, I got in the bug. I returned to the third year of my engineering degree and I knew I needed to train as much as a full-time athlete while completing my studies. It was a tough year, made a bit easier by the UCD Ad Astor Sports Scholarship, but it involved a lot of early morning sessions. We'd travel out to Blessington to train on the lakes before college or maybe do a session in the gym on the rowing machine, then followed by a day of lectures and practicals and return to the gym in the evening for either a second session on the rowing machine or weights. My friends had to get used to seeing me for a fleeting hour here and there. It was tough, but my goal of getting to the London Olympics was getting me out of bed every morning. A year before the final chance to qual qualify for the London Olympics, I decided to take a year from college and move to the National Rowing Centre based at Cork. There I could train with my partner and really focus just towards the training. It was a big commitment to move to Cork for the year and take the year from college. But my goal to get to the Olympics was influencing every decision I made. Unfortunately, a month before the final chance to qualify in April of 2012, due to weight management issues, the boat was pulled and within a weekend, the dream was over. It was a massive disappointment and still something that eats at me. But I've returned to college and finished my engineering degree and now I've refocused my goal. I want to make it to Rio. I know the only way to overcome the disappointment of not getting to London is to try again and succeed. Only then will the disappointment be diminished and not be the defining point in my rowing career. Everyone will go through disappointments in their lifetime. 
It will go hand in hand with success. Sometimes you look back on the mistakes you made and you wonder how you made them or how you didn't have the foresight to see it coming. But the most important thing is that you accept the failing and you learn from it and you use it. You use it as fuel to reach your next goal. So though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. So for the next three years, I'll be training hard to make it to Rio and hopefully you'll see me there. Thank you.